Hey guys, what's going on? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Let's see, I have ran. I was trying for three miles. I did not hit my three miles, unfortunately. I only hit a mile and a half. 1.6, okay? Give me that extra 0.1 of a mile. Um, today is really hot. Um, it's probably not too hot for the people in the southern states in America right now, but for me, it is really hot here. It is 74 degrees, let's see. No, 85 degrees now. This morning when I ran, it was 74. So a lot hotter than what we've been used to. Uh, usually it's been about in the 50s. So today is really hot, but it's a great day. Um, yeah, so on my run in, I'm gonna try to do better, but right now I got to fix a fence. I've got to, well, and also mow grass. Look at how high this grass is. That is in one week, it is that high. So I should probably mow it more, but I don't. But I can't even see now. But anyway, there is a part of this fence that my Rottweiler has chewed and is uh, trying to go into the neighbor's yard. So I got some chicken wire that I'm gonna put up to try to help block that. Um, yeah, if this was our house, we would do a little bit more permanent uh, preventive measures to get her to not chew on the fence, but She's super sweet. I don't know what she's doing and why she's doing that. So I got that and then also I'm gonna get back to painting because I do have a lot to paint and uh, I haven't done it in a couple weeks. Uh, mainly because of school and work, but today seems like a great day to get a little painting done and then I'll go back to school tomorrow um, so I can, I got a paper due this week, another one. So um, yeah. So that is what I am doing today. Here, let me introduce you to this one that likes to tear up the fence. Hi, Nala. Hi, Nala. So this is Nala. Hi, baby. This is my love. She is the sweetest. I love her. I love all my babies. I do. I do. I'll introduce you to the little shithead chihuahua later. He's always biting me, always growling. He's a mama's boy, only likes mama. So yeah, I'll introduce you to that little shithead later. And then I got a fat cat, really fat cat. We are trying to feed her less, uh, but everything is starting to sag now that she's losing a little weight. But, uh, but yeah, here, let me get started on this grass and then um, I'll be right back to you. done mow the grass I weeded it and I have fixed this hopefully I didn't get around to for one I didn't buy enough chicken wire but I got the main spots that she was actually clawing at and biting at so hopefully um, hopefully it'll work uh, I, I will tell you right now I am tired that tells you how, uh, how lazy I've become while I've been on quarantine but um, I am I'm hoping this is gonna work um, I have just literally went around everything. Um, I've just put it in, I've missed a few times, but I went around, stapled it. So when we leave, it'll be easy for us to go ahead and take this down. This isn't a permanent thing. Um, but this has taught me whenever we do get back to the States and we buy our house, another house, um, this will be, will be something I will work on just so I make sure the dogs won't tear up the fence. Um, I will show you what they were doing. So right here, where our neighbor had fixed it a little bit, but that's what she was doing. She was clawing at it and breaking it. I mean, you have to think, 100 pounds, and she has these huge paws. She doesn't realize what she's doing. And I don't know what's over there. They don't have a dog. They don't, 
I don't know why she's clawing it, but she was. And uh, so I fixed this side. I fixed down there. Um, and hopefully that will do. If not, we'll get some more chicken wire and just go ahead and do the rest of the fence. I did leave down here not done. So I uh, hope she doesn't bother that. I went ahead and went up high enough. What I was doing was I wanted something to staple to. I didn't want to staple too much to the fence, even though I did have to down here. I was trying not to do it to the actual fence, but to the frame part of the fence. That's what I was trying to staple to. And uh, so it'll be easier for one to get the staples out because you put it in the boards. I'm afraid I'm going to rip the boards when I get those out. But um, what I'll do is I'll just cut those. Uh, should be, should work. I hope it does. Anyway, I've got to go take a shower now. Got to get ready for, well, to just relax, let's be honest. Um, but I will be right back with you. What's going on, guys? It is way late now. Um, I didn't get back on here. I did not end up painting tonight. And uh, I just went and took a very cold shower and uh, I'm burning up. I forgot to mention in my review on living in England that we, for most houses out here, I've heard that there are houses that have it, but for the most part, we don't have air conditioning. So when it is, it is like 80 degrees right now. The, I mean, sun kinda is setting and it is almost 10 o'clock. So it is burning up in here. Uh, so yeah, I hope everybody has a good night. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and hopefully we have something big coming up in a couple weeks. And I can't wait to take you guys along, doing a little traveling. Not too far, because we're still, we can't travel that far. But I can leave the house and go travel. I just have to still be working from home. So, uh, look forward to that. Look forward for you guys to come along. And I will talk to you maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll paint. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you all have a good night, or a good day, or wherever you are. And I will talk to you later.